All right. Oh, construction. Um, in the last video, we talked about making a cut list. And then the one after that, right after the cut list one, we talked about how to do your markings on your framing members from our cut list. So we took our cut list and we did our framing members. And now um, I have all set up all the parts. So let me go through this with you just one more time. There we go. There we go. So I have the cut list here that I've gone through. Um, we have our top and bottom plate, which we had over here. I showed you those earlier. Here's our top and bottom plate. We have our bottom plate, our top plate. We have our four common studs. One, two, three, four over here. We have two king studs. One, two right there. Does it matter which ones are the common, which are the king? Not at this point. Once we put them together, that's the only time you'll know what they are. We have three cripple studs at four feet or 48 inches. And I put them up here and they match up perfectly with the 48 inch mark. So those are our four, or excuse me, three cripple studs. We have our one sill at 32 inches. When I put that up there, that's our one sill at 32 inches. We have our two trimmer studs at seven feet. Well, I know that seven feet is slightly less than, it's an inch less, and these two are going to be our trimmer studs over there. And then lastly, we have our header, which is 32 plus six inches. And I showed you why, because it's going to be sitting on top of the trimmer studs. And these two are slightly larger than our 32. So these two must be our trimmer studs. So let's go through and lay this out, how it's going to look when we're all done. So I'm just going to pull our top plate up here. I'm going to put a, a uh, plate over here and a plate over here just so we have those in place. Next thing I'm going to do is that those two are our header. We're going to put our cripple studs in place. Put one in the middle. We're going to put one here and one here on the side. And we're going to put our, actually, you know what? Let's also mark our sill right now. So our sill, we know that we want our stud coming through there, our cripple stud coming through there, and we know that we're going to have them on the sides over there. So this way we know exactly where they're going to line up. So it's going to give us a perfect lineup when we do this. So I have that, and then we're going to put these on top up here. So framing that. Okay, that looks great. Next to that, then we're going to have our two trimmer studs, which are going to go on top here. We have our trimmer studs down here. And don't forget, though, we don't have anything like that up here because our trimmer studs don't go all the way up to our top plate. We're going to have our header on top of our trimmer studs. Let's so pull that together just a little bit more. There we go. Our header is going to go on top there. Then we're going to have our two king studs. And remember, our king studs are the same as our common studs size-wise. It's just when we put them on, they're going to be different. And then lastly, we have these two just regular studs as they come through. And when I put this all on top there, there we go. We have our layout for everything that we need. We have where our cripple studs come in, our trimmer studs, our king studs, our standard studs, common studs. We have our um, king studs up here. I'm going to put a K for king. I put a K for king right there. We have where our common studs cut come through. And so now we're ready to start assembling this. All right. Uh, so I've moved things around a little bit. I put two clamps on here just to hold this in place for me while I'm working on this. 
Uh, I may move this around in a little bit, um, but I, I just set that up there. Now, the first thing that I'm going to start working is I want to work on the inside pieces. So I actually want to start working on the sill and the bottom plate down here. And I have this all marked out. So I'm going to take my top plate off. And I'm going to take my common studs off and put them over here. I'm going to take my king studs out and my trimmer studs out and my header out and put them over here also my header over here and now I'm just going to start in on my common studs and then attach them to my bottom plate so, uh, excuse my my cripple studs so just like I uh, said before maybe you remember this from earlier I'm going to go ahead and just start starting my nails in here and I find that it's a whole lot easier if I start my nails before if it's like this, before I start doing them sideways. Oops. I'm going to put this one here. And then one more here. When you do this, though, just be, you know, don't, don't go too deep. Or else then all of a sudden you have that stuck into your plate or into your uh, layout chick. Now, there we go. I got those in place. And I'm going to start by hitting the center one and try to line that up. There we go. My end one. Cripple stud. And there we go. So I have that plate done. Now I'm going to turn this around and do my start working on my bottom plate. Again, I'm going to do my cripple stud or my, yeah, my center cripple stud there. Get my inside one there. And my next one right here. Okay, now I'm just going to turn this around and do it this way. So I'm going to again line up my center one so I have my center one lined up there just a hair let's see there we go first one in move that over slightly Becca one and this one needs to go over just a hair there you go Oops. Fortunately, these nails are small enough, they're easy to bend in place. And I've got a, got a blowout on that side. So I'm going to come back in and get another nail in the side here. If you get a blowout like that, you see that right there? If you have a pair of pliers or something, just take a pair of pliers and pinch it over if you can so it's not a hazard. But I'm also going to be driving in another nail in place there. There we go, to take the place of that one. So I'm just going to get a pair of pliers and pull that in. I know some of you, uh, most of you have got a pair of needle nose pliers. That's a good way to use your needle nose pliers right there. Now, since that's the first part in there, I have my cripple studs in there. The next thing I'm going to want to get in here are my two trimmer studs. And my trimmer studs, I'm just going to put inside here and then nail in right into my sill. So I'm going to make a mark there as to where I want that to go. Then the trimmer stud's going to come in on the bottom. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to put two marks there, put, put my um, nails to start that off, and then start nailing it in on the bottom. All right. You see I've got the trimmer studs on the side here. Now I'm going to start in on my two king studs. I also was able to get that pushed back in place. So now I'm going to put my two king studs in. And then after I get my two king studs in, then I'll put the headers in place right there. Now the king studs, I could just put those anywhere in this area right here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, where those go. If this was something I was doing full size, I would probably put 
five or six uh, nails up here to hold this in place, but I'm just gonna put one here on the side and then one here in the bottom to hold that in place. All right, so we got our king studs in here. We have our trimmer studs, we have our sill, we have our cripple studs, we got a bottom plate. Now we're gonna install our headers. So I found the best way to install the headers. There's a couple of things you can do. If you have a little glue, wood glue at home, you can put just a couple of drops of wood glue in there, stick these two together, maybe a piece of masking tape in there to hold them together. Voila, you're all set. You don't need to, you can if you have wood glue. I don't have wood glue right here. Actually, of course I have wood glue right here, but I'm gonna do it a different way. I'm just gonna put them in here this way and I'm gonna nail through my king studs that way. So I'm just gonna come in with a nail there, a nail there to hold them in place through my king studs. So that's how I'm gonna put on my header. After I'm done with the header, the window will be all rough framed. Then we just have to put our common studs in. All right, so we have our common studs in here. We have our king studs, we have our common studs. Now, just put our top plate on there and tie this all together. And I think earlier, I may have shared with you this little tip. So it's still a little difficult to get in here. One thing you can do is to take just a couple of studs of spacers and put them on the back side here. Let's see what two of them. Actually, that just works out great when you put two of them on there because it still supports the top plate, but the um, but it overhangs enough there, so we should be good. Okay, so I'm going to start. Let's get these ones in the king studs first. A little bit of a split there on that stud, but we're okay. Okay. Now I gotta get our two common studs right here. Oops. Yeah, a little bit of a blowout on the side there, but again, I'll come through and clean that up. And lastly, we have our stud over here. Final one here on this side. And this one I had a little blowout, so I'm just going to put another one in and then come back with a pair of pliers and clean up that one. There we go. So there is our a little bit out of square. There we go. Squared it up just right there, just by pushing it down. All right, there is our wall with a window. Perfect, and that will fit in there perfectly. So again, I have all the layout right here. I have my top plate, my bottom plate, my cripple studs, my sill, my trimmer studs, my king studs, my header, and my common studs. Very good.